What's up everyone? Are you tired of annoying little problems, breaking your quad, and constantly repairing your quad at races? In this video, I'll show you 9 simple FPV build tips to improve your quad and keep you up in the air round after round. After building a conservative, I'd say 100 quads or so, and gathering tips from some of the fastest pilots in the world, we've compiled a list of 9 simple FPV build tips to improve your quad. Follow these 9 simple tips in your next build to eliminate some of the most common race day problems. Tip number 1. Use metal FC stack screws. Ditch the plastic standoffs for your flight controller stack. They always break in a hard crash, making it a pain in the ass to replace in the field. Use long metal screws for the stack that will never break no matter how hard you crash. It also makes it much easier to customize the height of your stack of your components. Tip number two, butter mount spacers. Ditch the plastic spacers for the stack. The limited sizes make it hard to make a custom low profile stack. Use butter mounts for the spacers in your stack. They can be cut and stacked in increments of about one and a half to four millimeters. Tip number three, use M3 lock nuts for the stack. It adds an extra few grams to your build, but it's totally worth it. Instead of using the plastic nuts, use an M3 lock nut for the stack. You really only need about two lock nuts to secure the stack and never have to worry about vibrations making the nuts come off. Tip number four, use as little wire as possible. This not only cleans up your build, but minimizes problems. Long dangly wires will shake during flight. Even if you have the perfect solder joint, the movement in the wire will eventually break the wire and disconnect. Tip number five, keep your motor wires flat. I've tried all methods to protect the motor wires and found this method to be the easiest and works the best. Heat shrink works well, but it's a pain in the ass to replace an arm in the field. Once you cut off the heat shrink, it's trash. Raised wire works, but it also adds the need to splice and solder an additional 24 joints. Instead, use gaffer's tape to keep the motor wires flat against the arm and there's very little chance of the wires getting cut. Gaffer's tape is stronger and thicker than electrical tape. It's like duct tape, but it can be removed and reused without sticky residue. Tip number six. Tape the UFL connector. The biggest weakness of UFL connectors is that they can disconnect during crashes. You can heat shrink the VTX with a connector inside, but it makes it hard to do any field repairs because you have to cut off the heat shrink. Bondage works well, but then the bondage will come off if you move the wire. Once again, use a small strip of gaffer's tape to tape down the UFL connector. It holds the UFL connector down well enough and it can be easily removed and reapplied if you need to do any field repairs. Tip number seven, use a short battery cable. I learned this one from Captain Vanover. Using a short battery cable has many advantages. It reduces weight, uses the cable tension to keep the XD60 connector connected, but the biggest advantage is that it keeps the XD60 and the cable from getting blended in the prop. Tip number eight, use a sticky battery pad. The biggest causes of damage to batteries and battery cables, besides smashing them into gates, is battery ejection. Using Velcro on your quad and all your batteries works, but it's a major pain in the ass to use. A sticky pad paired with a strong Kevlar strap will lock your battery in place. These sticky pads can be washed and reused when they get dirty. Tip number nine, fix camera angle. Lock your FPV camera angle. The angle of your camera has a huge effect on how you fly. Fly with not enough angle and you'll find yourself bobbing up and down, having a hard time maintaining your altitude. Fly with too much angle and it'll throw off your lines, blowing out the turns because you're flying too fast for your skill level. Have you ever hit a gate and then find your quad flying really weird only to find the camera like pointing up in the sky or in the ground when you retrieve your quad? Use a fixed camera angle mount to lock in your camera angle so that you can fly consistently every time no matter how many gates you hit. Let me know your thoughts on these tips. Do you already use some of these tips or do you have any tips you could share? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.